views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Limelight Radio with guest host Mara Williams. Mara Williams is one of America's leading experts on tick-borne diseases, a healthcare provider for almost 35 years. Mara is a board-certified adult nurse practitioner, energetic healer, sought-after speaker, and author of Nature's Dirty Needle. Founder of Inanna House, a holistic center specializing in the treatment and recovery of tick-borne diseases. Mara holds a master's in science and nursing from the University of California at San Francisco. Additionally, Mara has personal experience with the illness, which includes the care of her daughter who has been struggling with CLD for over 20 years. For more information, go to marawilliams.net. Hi, this is Mara Williams um, with Limelight Radio through WBLQ Studio in Rhode Island. So I have today Robbie Borhouse, who is a communication, crisis, and reputational expert an admired leadership and storytelling advisor and best-selling author. Robbie is the founder and CEO of Vorhaas Media and Communications, Inc., a communications and public relations consultancy, and also draws on his experience in network and major media journalism to provide practical and effective counsel for enriching leadership skills, personal relationships, business performance, and brand superiority. Robbie is also a teacher, media contributor, and motivational speaker. He is the author of the critically acclaimed, best-selling book, One Less, One More, Follow Your Heart, Be Happy, Change Slowly. So now I introduce you to Robbie Vorhaus. Hi, Robbie. Hey, Mara. Hi. So we were talking about One Less, One More, your book, and what it takes to change slowly and be happy. Well, I, look... I think that you have to believe that you were born for a purpose. I mean, there have been 100 billion people since the beginning of time. There are over 7 billion people on the planet. It doesn't matter if you're talking to a scientist or, or a light worker. The reality is, is that there has never, ever, ever been in the history of this planet another human being remotely, remotely like you. And when you recognize that... You are truly, in every sense of the word, physical, spiritual, mentally unique. And then do you or do you not accept that responsibility? And it is, it's a responsibility that you were born for a unique purpose. If you're here, if you're that unique, and my belief system is in working with famous people and working with celebrities and working with government leaders and working with everyday people, is that happiness is a choice. And what happiness is, is really just two things. It's a, it's a sense of fulfillment, and it's a sense of serenity, peace, a feeling of alignment. So what does this all mean? It means that we are here to do something special, to do many things special, and that to the core of it is happiness. And how do we get happy? by choice, and how do we choose, and what do we choose? And that's where it becomes interesting, because there is, there is math of courage, and that is making the decision in any moment to choose something that is no longer working, whether it's worry, fear, whether it's an addiction, whether it's gossiping, whether it's being uh, persnickety, whether it's being judgmental, whether it's being overly or underly sexual, it doesn't matter. But there's something that's in our life right now that's no longer working. Henry Moore, the famous sculptor, was asked when he was making a horse out of stone, one piece of stone, and the reporter said to him, Mr. Moore, that is a magnificent sculpture. We, you can see out of that one piece of stone the, the musculature of the, of the horse and the wind in the horse's mane. How do you do it? And he said, well, I don't know what the big deal is. I just take one piece of stone and I cut away everything that doesn't look like a horse. <laughs> now, that's overly simplified, of course, but he understood that he saw something there and he cut away. And as I write about in One Less, One More in my book, 
you know, before the lawn can appear, you have to get rid of the leaves. But once you do, there it is. And that's the way it is with our lives. I mean, there are, there are things in our lives today that aren't working. We know, and if you ask any human being on any level, what isn't working today? What doesn't feel good? What would you like to change? And they'll tell you. So the, 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 the mathematical equation of courage of one less, one more, the courageous choice is to be able to say, okay, I believe I was born to be happy. I was, believe I was born with, with a special purpose. It's my song I want to sing. It's my dance that I want to dance. It's my story I want to tell. I don't want to tell my parents. I don't want to tell my husband or wife. I don't want to tell my children, my boss. I want boss. I want to tell my story. And so the first part of that courageous equation is to choose less of what's not working. The second part of that equation of courage is to say, I'm willing to accept that there are things in my life that, are, that I'm dreaming about, that I'm passionate about, that make my heart beat faster thinking about it. There are things in my life that I've always been curious about. What is it that is just pulling me? What is it that I would, when I was a child, that my parents said to me, or whoever it is, you know, what, that you're, you know what, what is it that when I was a child, my parents said, you can't do that. You can't make a living doing that. People don't do that. That's not a job. And yet today, how many people that are listening right now feel this burning passion inside of them to, 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 to find a spouse or that they're in a relationship that they know is no longer working and they need the courage to say, I'm sorry, but this is my life. I don't want to die with the music in me, and you are not it. How many people in their life are saying, I want to write, I want to dance, I want to sing, I want to make bagels? I mean, one of the things that I've always wanted, I grow up Jewish in New York City, and I love bagels, and I always thought, oh, I love bagels. I wonder how they make it. And finally I said, wait a minute, I wrote the book. Well, my one more today is I want to learn how to make bagels. And I discovered how incredibly simple it was and yet how complex it was. But that opened up a whole world of baking to me. So the equation of courage is one less, one more. It's, t it's knowing that no matter where you are, that the moment you're in right now is all there is. It is the, 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 the exact moment where your past stops and the exact moment where your future begins, right now. And when we understand that, Mara, when we understand the power that we have in this moment, that when we become conscious of how unique we are, when we allow ourselves to understand what's not working in our life today, and I may not know what I want to do five years or five hours from now, but I know that something is pulling me. Maybe I want to take a nap, but I say, oh, I can't take a nap. I'm not supposed to take a nap. Maybe you want to make love, but you're saying, I can't make love. That's not the right time. It's not, I, I'm, I'm this religion, and they said that we have to wait for this. The heck with it. That's the beauty of one less, one more. It's that nothing is the same for any human being, except for you. You are so unique that there has never been another human being like you, and there never will be. So what is your song? What is your story? How are you going to, 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 to be in this world? Are you going to be, and, and I know I'm talking a lot, so forgive me, but the question is, is are you going to be dust or ash? Are you going, dust is a waste product. Dust is a, an accumulation of everyone else's stuff. Or are you going to be ash? And ash is a, is a product, a residual product of something that has been all used up for fuel. It's, it's, it's all burned up. There's nothing left. And there's the ash, and you throw it into the ground, and it, it actually works as fertilizer. Or, you know, it's a chemical process for the ground, but you have to ask yourself, am I 
going to be dust when I die or at the end of the day or at the end of any moment? Am I going to be the accumulation of my religion, my education, what my family says, I've got to do this, my spouse says, my kids say, my teachers say, or are you going to be ash? Just say, wait a minute, I want to be that light. I want to burn bright. I've got things to say. I've got a truth, and I want to say it. And at the end of the day, there's no music in me. Oh, I'm, I'm, going to, I'm not going to die with the music in me, and I'm going to be ash all burned up. And that's one less, one more. So one more allows you to step into what your gifts are that you came into this lifetime carrying, that, that only through you, uniquely you, can that gift be given. That's right. The one more are the possibilities. The one more takes courage, just the same way that, you know, again, anyone listening to, to this wonderful show understands that they're either personally or in some way affected by tick, a tick-borne disease. And we know how insidious the disease is, uh, or the affliction. We know that, you know, that, there, that there's so much controversy about, you know, what is, what is Lyme? What, how, do you, how do you discover it? How do you treat it? Um, how do you heal from it? Is there such a thing as chronic Lyme, or is it just that the, the immune system has been compromised? And that's, again, how, how you and I found each other, because I read your book, uh, Nature's Dirty Needle. And I was drawn. I was drawn to the book. I was drawn to you because, you know, after getting 100 or so tick bites in one year and finding myself so tired that I could barely get out of bed and thinking that I was going crazy because my brain was so muddled and the left side of my face was drooping. And it wasn't until, you know, I started reading your book and other things that I realized that every single thing from the injuries, you know, from what was in my hip, you know, to, to, to you know, the, the, the floaters in my eyes. Um, and again, you know, when I read the, all the things and, <laughs> excuse me, and realized that all of my symptoms were pretty common for people with Lyme disease. But I thought I was going mad. So I really, I, I humbly bow to you and for what you're doing and also to Katina for what she's doing in, in, in helping people to not only understand Lyme, but how to prevent it, you know, how to diagnose it, how to, how to, how to treat it. Um, and, and, and part of that, and this is for me the important thing, was the mental aspect of it, Mara, is that I have refused to let Lyme disease define me. I have a very hard time going to websites about Lyme because all I read about and all I see are the problems. And thank God for Limelight Radio where we can hear about the solutions, where we can hear about the wins, where we can hear about, you know, the positive aspects. Because for me, okay, I have Lyme. Okay, I got it. Yes, I get tired. Yes, I have a hard time focusing. Yes, you know, they, I still have not been able to, quote, unquote, cure, you know, certain things. But at the same time, I'm alive. I've got two beautiful, magnificent children I've got a, a, a wife of 26 years who, you know, I still chase around the house, and every now and again she lets me catch her. You know, I've got a, I've got a magnificent uh, group of clients who rely on me to provide them with encouraging, positive, straight advice, you know. So, so what you're saying is you focus on all of this instead of the pain that you're feeling in your body, instead of the fatigue that you feel. So you, I acknowledge it, Mara. Yeah. I acknowledge it. I don't ignore it. You know, I acknowledge, I acknowledge, you know, I've, and again, you know, it, it's important for me that I have someone that I can talk to to say, am I going crazy? You know, I, you know, and I can go down a list of my symptoms. But the problem for me is, is that I feel that I need, even when I go to a general doctor and say, you know, these are my symptoms. 
And the doctor will say to me, if he's not Lyme literate, well, but that's not Lyme disease because they say it's not Lyme disease. And yet when I talk to a Lyme literate doctor or a Lyme literate healthcare professional like yourself, they'll say, oh, no, that's classic. You know, that's classic. <laughs> there is, there's a huge disconnect, isn't there? Right. Yeah. So yeah. what I recognize is, is I'm, I used to think, well, do I have chronic Lyme or am I just, did I have Lyme and it had affected my immune system and it's going to be something that's, I don't care. The reality is, is that I have the symptoms. I have, some are unique. You know, again, uh, three years ago, uh, it was discovered that I had, out of the blue, uh, an artery that was 98% occluded and went in for, had to go in for heart surgery. Uh, but since that time, they've found nothing. They've, you know, in fact, the doctor said, you know, your, your heart is perfect. But why did that happen? Uh, I think it may be the lie. I do too. Um, you know, again, my, you know, I've lost the hearing in my left ear. I have a constant tinnitus or tinnitus, however you pronounce it. Ringing of but the ears. Even, I'm sorry? Yes. It's ringing of the ears. I just wanted to make that clear. Yep, thank you. Yeah. So, you know, I could go down my list of symptoms, but the minute that I start doing that, I start I, I immediately catch myself because what I recognize is, is now I am putting that energy out into the world. And instead of me talking about love, light, hope, belief, happiness, joy, sex, passion, goodness, compassion, enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Enthusiasm is in theos, in God inspiration in spirit when i talk about symptoms or how i'm hurting or how all of, nobody cares mara nobody cares they may be polite but nobody wants to hear about other people's illness unless you're a healthcare provider and who who is entrusted with helping this person heal and there and there should be some quid pro quo there should be something in return whether it's money or some other trade. But if I'm going to talk to a doctor, then that I want to talk to a healthcare provider who's going to work with me to help me to heal, and I don't want to complain. And for everyone else, and again, uh, you know this story. I was in a Starbucks in San Francisco, standing online, woman, African-American woman in front of me, was hearing me talking to everyone and she said you know everyone here how do you know everyone i said i don't know anyone here i'm from new york city okay we're going to take a break now and we'll be Great. right back for the rest of this story please are you anxious and worried do you feel stuck with fear and insecurity Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schau. My breakthrough and empowerment program has helped thousands to overcome their emotional challenges. Join me for the upcoming Breakthrough and Empowerment video seminar series, which starts on April 8th. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to find out how you can transform your life in just three months. Dr. Loves Quickies. Mary's about ready to give love the shove, because no matter what she tries, guys don't know that she's alive. To turn guys on, she needs to turn on those green lights, nonverbal cues that say, over here. Most guys won't approach unless they're cleared for landing. So ladies, to kickstart your love life, turn on those green lights and flash your pearly whites. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf of AskDrLove.com. <music> Pure Encapsulations is committed to producing the most complete line of research-based nutritional supplements from fish oil to probiotics to multivitamins and more. Available through qualified health professionals and community pharmacists, finished products are pure and hypoallergenic to optimize the long-term health of all patients, even the most sensitive. With Pure Encapsulations, you can rest assured that you're getting the purest and highest quality nutritional supplements available. 
Ask a qualified healthcare practitioner about Pure Encapsulations today and discover why it's the supplement brand of choice for healthcare professionals worldwide. For more information, please visit www.pureencapsulations.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Hi, this is Mara Williams, and we're back with Limelight Radio, and our guest today, Robbie Vorhaus, who's the author of One Less, One More. Before we get back into talking with Robbie, I want to let you know that he is giving away a signed copy of his book, and if you're interested in it, you can Twitter him at Vorhaus, V-O-R-H-A-U-S. So um, now we're, we're going to go back to the story, Robbie, that you were talking about right before we had to interrupt for commercial. Could you restart that story again, please? Yes, but would you just, um, I just want to say it's a drawing. We're giving away one book, so if just to register, go to at Four House and just uh, send a note with, um, you know, to at Four House and just say one less, one more or something, and then we'll choose one book and we'll send off a signed copy to you. Um, the story that I was telling you was I was in San Francisco and I was in line in Starbucks and the, there was an African-American woman in ahead of me and uh she asked how did you how do you know everyone and i said i don't know anyone i just got off the plane i'm from new york she said well why do you talk to everyone and i said well because um it just you know it just everyone's a friend i haven't met yet and she said well how are you today and i said i'm happy i'm happy i was never better she said oh i love that and she said you know i'd really love for you to come on the uh, as my guest have you been to a san francisco giants uh, game and I said no, and she said I'd love for you to come as my guest and um, and I said wow, um, how is that? She said I'm the voice of the San Francisco Giants, <laughs> and she said and I said well wait, my son's in sports, he's in college in sports management, and she said is, would he be interested in an, in an internship? And I said what are you kidding? <laughs> I said he'd be thrilled, and Connor didn't end up taking the job, but. By just taking and spending more time and attention to other people and acknowledging them, we all want to be heard. We all want to be recognized. And instead of saying when when somebody says how are you, instead of saying well okay I'm you know I'm just I'm okay or um, whatever it is, I say I'm fine or never better. And you know that led to that thing. So it's all as well. So. At the time that you were talking to this woman, who is the voice of the Giants, oh, I she, forgot they actually, that part. They, they actually they actually offered the job to Connor, but again, at the time that you were talking to her, it's my understanding that you were feeling pretty miserable. 
<laughs> that's right, Mar. I'm sorry. I, I, that's all right. I, I went to turn off. I, I thought I turned off all my devices, and Apple has now made it so that people, even when I have my phone turned off, it comes through my computer, so I turn that off. Yeah, the, 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 what the point of the story for anyone who has Lyme is when she asked, how are you? I said, I'm great. I'm happy. Never better. I was feeling like crap. I mean, I was just having a terrible, terrible Lyme day. But nobody wants to hear. Nobody. I don't care who you are. If I were to have said to that woman, if she said, how are you? Oh, I'm all right. Or, oh, I've got Lyme disease. Or, you know, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm so tired or my hip hurts or, you know, my brain is addled, whatever it may be. But the, but the point is, is that I just said, no, I'm great. And that's the, the way that I choose to live my life is that I don't want to complain. I don't want anyone. I don't. I, I don't. I just, no one needs to know I have Lyme. It's not going to define me. I have healthcare professionals who I really respect, like yourself, who, who I can get counsel from and you know, I've learned a lot about herbs. I've learned a lot about meditation. I've learned a lot about, um, you know, helping the immune system. But what I have found, more is the single most important aspect of healing on any level, whether it's Lyme or anything else, is your attitude. It's, it's, it's the way, it's, it's allowing the light of your life to shine through your body and to believe in the providence of your own body's healing and ability to, to heal itself. I don't believe that there is anything. I mean, we're all going to die. And I believe that when I say we're going to die, it simply means that our body is going to die. Energy can't be created or destroyed. And our heart, all of our hearts beat through the same energy force. It doesn't matter if we're black or white. It doesn't matter if we're Jewish or Catholic. It doesn't matter if we're from Iran, Iraq, or Argentina. The same force that makes the earth go around makes our heart beat. It's the brain. It's the energy in our brain. It's what makes the flowers grow. So, okay, I've, I am experiencing Lyme disease. I am experiencing symptoms. My body's trying to tell me something, and there's something that I need to tell my body. But I am not. I am not, and I refuse to let Lyme define me. I want people to say, Robbie Vorhouse is the guy who wrote One Less, One More. Robbie Vorhouse is the guy who helps me to follow my heart. Robbie Vorhouse is the guy that I feel great being around because he recognizes how special I am. I don't want for people to say, oh, yeah, Robbie Vorhouse, he's got Lyme disease. <laughs> why? What does that serve? What purpose does that serve? And that's why, you know, again, cancer is an insidious disease. Um, so many other illnesses are, are, are horrible. And Lyme disease can be devastating, and now we know it can be deadly. And at the same time, it's also an opportunity to grow, to heal, your body may be telling you something. I don't know, Mara. There are so many mystical aspects to 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 to, to Lyme and to what to, to the feedback mechanism of our body. Yes. But what I do know is, and again, without sounding like I'm, you know, beating a horse here, is happiness is a choice. And we can still choose in any moment to say, I am not going to allow this pain. I am not going to allow this, 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 this illness. I'm not going to allow this affliction to, to, to define me. And so even in this moment, there's always an opportunity, no matter how bad you're feeling, that you can choose a more positive thought. You can choose in this moment, to think of something positive and to know that this too shall pass, like everything else. And at the same time, injecting some gratitude in there? 
Well, thank you for that reminder. You did that beautifully. <laughs> I, I, you know, again, I, as I write about in One Less, One More, um, I, do, I write a whole chapter on, on the power of gratitude. Um, and it's, it is less entitlement and believing that you deserve something and more gratitude. You know, I was, thank you for that because I was, you know, there have been times when I feel sorry for myself and I'll say, oh, I wish that I had had, uh, wish that I had, you know, hadn't sold that stock or I wish I hadn't said that to this person. And I wish that if, if I had only done this, my life would be different. And then all of a sudden I realized, wait a minute. I am so grateful for my life. I am so grateful for the opportunity to heal. I am so grateful for my friends and my family. So, Mara, thank you for for that. Uh, Again, um, I still believe that gratitude and and living in gratitude is, is just as important as the choice of courage. It, It absolutely is. I, I, there's something I'm, I'm staring at, that uh, uh, something you wrote in your book that I just would like to share that is one of the things that grabbed me when I was reading the book, and it's just a quick sentence here, and then we're probably going to go to commercial again. It was, the job you do, the life you live, the relationships you share are made whole and divine with your passion, commitment, and enthusiasm. And I have to say, in this entire conversation we've had, one of the things that's coming through to me in listening to you is your enthusiasm and your passion and your joy for what you've done and what you're doing. So I, I, I love, oh. I open your book all the time, and I'll <laughs> turn it to a page and go, oh, he said that in here. Oh, that's really great. You know, there's so many pearls of wisdom in your book. Well, thank you, Maura. Let me, let me first give credit where credit is due. I couldn't have written this book by myself. Um, I was every morning I was in prayer um, and just released myself to the universe and said, going back to gratitude, I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is it that you want me to share? So this book is, I was used, as any carpenter will tell you, uh, as anyone who builds anything, as as many writers will tell you, as anyone who creates, um, I was simply a vessel um, for this magnificent, magnificent book that helps people. When I say magnificent, okay. uh, do we have to go to commercial? Yes, or we have to go to commercial now. We'll be Great. right back. Don't go away. Thank you. You live your life in the songs you hear on the rock and roll radio. And when a young girl doesn't have any friends, that's a really nice place to go. Folks hoping you'd turn out cool, but they had to take you out of school. You're a little touch. Pure Encapsulations is committed to producing the most complete line of research-based nutritional supplements from fish oil to probiotics to multivitamins and more. Available through qualified health professionals and community pharmacists, finished products are pure and hypoallergenic to optimize the long-term health of all patients, even the most sensitive. With Pure Encapsulations, you can rest assured that you're getting the purest and highest quality nutritional supplements available. Ask a qualified healthcare practitioner about Pure Encapsulations today and discover why it's the supplement brand of choice for healthcare professionals worldwide. For more information, please visit www.pureencapsulations.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Retreat to open your senses and heal your energy. Join Lynn Brown and Wendy Wolf for Amazing Astra Allies, April 30th through May 2nd in the beautiful Methow Valley. Open to more of your astral experiences. Learn intentional dreaming and receive astral body healings in this serene setting. This retreat is almost full. To register now or learn more, call 206-931-7356 today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. 
Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit thetruthisfunny.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Hey, this is Mara Williams, and we're back with Limelight Radio, and my guest today is Robbie Vorhaus, author of One Less, One More. And we were talking about finding the joy and, and the passion in each moment to help you really live a better life, uh, right? I mean, that's... Yeah, you know, and, and Mara, that's, that again is the, the beauty of One Less, One More, the, you know, the... the the, the 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 math of courage is that when you are willing to listen to your heart to get your face out of facebook to get to stop losing yourself in a television show and i love tv look that's great but there's also it's important that we take time to listen to our heart to listen to and to explore our curiosity because once we start exploring what our purpose is here, once we, I mean, again, the first step is, is that you have to come present. And that takes courage just to stop, just to stop long enough to say, okay, I'm going to listen. The second is to believe, to believe that you were born with a purpose, to believe that you were born to be happy, to believe that you were born to do something special, maybe many things special. And Mara, I just want to make a point. Many people say, well, I, I would love to be in a movie. I would love to act. I would love to write a book, but I'm so busy. I've got to raise a family or you know, I work at this job, but what I really want to do is make jewelry. But I, I, I don't have the time. There are all these excuses. But anybody in any profession, anybody that has mastered anything, the first thing they do is they, one, they listen to their heart. And they say, wait a minute, it's driving me in that direction. Two is they believe they can do it. They say, you know what? There is no difference between that person who's doing it and me, except they're physically doing it. But there's nothing in the universe that says that I can't. This is the big thing next. The third thing is to prepare. And part of that preparation means that if you say, okay, I'm doing my job, but I want to be a jeweler, or I want to open a bookstore, or I want to make music, or I want to act then the next thing that you can do is start to prepare. And part of preparation is learning, and thank God we have the Internet now. So if you want to be an actor or you want to write a book, start spending a little bit of your time, just a little bit more of your time, researching, how do I write a book? What's the genre of a book? Who have written other books? What do I need to do? And as you learn, you can take notes. But what you're doing is is that you have physically gone from thinking about something to doing it. And once you do something more in the direction of your dreams and desires, now you've changed the course of history. Because every choice changes the future. If you say, I'm going to go left, and instead you say, you know what, I'm going to follow my heart and go right, 
you've just changed the future in immeasurable ways. So you've got to believe, you've got to prepare, and then at some point you have to commit. And once you commit, you have to accept the fact that that's when courage really kicks in because there's going to be changes. And with changes will be crisis. But once you have that crisis of change, once somebody, if, if, if a spouse says, you can't do that, and then all of a sudden you leave the spouse, or if somebody says, you can do that, and you do, and you go, oh, my gosh, what am I doing? What have I gotten myself into? But you keep, <laughs> but you keep going. You know, yes. John Wayne said, Maura, John Wayne said courage is being scared to death but saddling up anyway. Yes. Yes, I remember when when I I wrote Nature's Dirty Needle and it was published and it was out in the world. It was so frightening. It was like, oh my gosh, I put this book out. What if nobody likes it? It just it it is. It's a it's a it's it's a profound moment when you do something that you've always wanted to do, and it turns out okay. And then you keep going. And then you keep going. Yes, you keep going. So. There's one thing that you talked about here when I asked you some questions that maybe we could talk about before we did this show. And one was, you said, how can we in any moment make two profoundly courageous decisions that will change our life forever? Could you talk more about that? Yes. Walt Disney, everyone thinks Walt Disney said, dreams do come true. But the whole quote is... Dreams can come true if you have the courage to follow your heart. And that, Mara, is the most profound choice that you will ever make in your life. Is It's safe to live somebody else's life. It's safe, even though we may say, I don't want to be involved in this job. I don't want to be living in this community. I don't want to be addicted to this substance. I don't want to continue to go and hang out with these group of people. That's fine. But what's the most courageous thing that somebody can do, the most profound decision that we can make is to say, wait a minute, I know in my heart of hearts that this is not right. I don't know what is right, but I know that this is no longer right for me. And to start taking the steps of choosing less of what's no longer working and having the courage, the profound courage to say, I am going to follow my heart, wherever that leads, whatever that means. I'm going to start going in the direction of my curiosity. I'm going to go and pursue the dreams that I've always dreamt because the dreams that I have are there for a reason. And that, Mara, is the same of whether or not you have Lyme or whether or not you want to be the President of the United States. It, it, it doesn't matter if you're single and you say, I want to find the person of my dreams. I know that person exists. I believe that that person exists. And then you commit to it, you prepare for it, and you are willing to make that decision that you are going to find that person, or even better, let that person find you. That's one less, one more. It's the, it's the math of courage in that at any moment, we are willing to choose less of what no longer is working or feel good, feels good, and that we are willing to take the time to pursue our courageous path and, as you pointed out to me, in every moment to be grateful, to consciously choose gratitude for the ability to follow our hearts to connect with the divine, whatever your divine may be. And that will be your more. Is that once we all start aligning with our life, aligning with our life's purpose, whether it be health, wealth, prosperity, abundance, love, joy, light, whatever it may be, but nothing will ever feel better and also scarier than when we follow our heart. 
that's it, 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 it's very encouraging to know that there are uh, that to know every single day that there's one thing that we can do just one thing anybody can do one thing every day that will make their life a little bit better and with that I'd like to share Robbie's websites with you one the first one is www.onelessonemore.com or www.vorhaus, V-O-R-H-A-U-S dot com. So please check out Robbie, check out his book. It's, it's an incredible book. I've really enjoyed reading it. And like I said, I open it up all the time just to a page to see what stands out for me in that moment when I look at it. I'd also like to share um, my two websites, Anana House. I-N-A-N-N-A, house, H-O-U-S-E, dot org. And you can find out more about me at marawilliams.net. Okay, I've really enjoyed talking with you today, Robbie, and I really think that this is an incredible, simple process for anybody, no matter how horrible they're feeling, um, no matter how tired they are. There's one thing you can find to do, and, and, and each day find one thing, even if it's the same thing for a while, to find one thing that makes your heart happy, that tells you you're doing what you need to do for yourself. Mara, thank you so much, and it was an honor for me. I'm really glad you were here. Okay, um, one last take home, Robbie? Follow your heart, be happy, (laughs) and allow yourself to change slowly. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get ready for some of the most provocative conversation with leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. If you've missed any part of this hit radio show, visit LimelightRadio.com. That's LimelightRadio.com. We'll see you next week on Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. Then I go to my brother and I say brother help me please are you anxious and worried do you feel stuck with fear and insecurity hello my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub my breakthrough and empowerment program has helped thousands to overcome their emotional challenges Join me for the upcoming Breakthrough and Empowerment video seminar series, which starts on April 8th. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to find out how you can transform your life in just three months. Dr. Loves Quickies. Mary's about ready to give love the shove, because no matter what she tries, guys don't know that she's alive. To turn guys on, she needs to turn on those green lights, nonverbal cues that say, over here. Most guys won't approach unless they're cleared for landing. So ladies, to kickstart your love life, turn on those green lights and flash your pearly whites. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf of AskDrLove.com. Pure Encapsulations is committed to producing the most complete line of research-based nutritional supplements from fish oil to probiotics to multivitamins and more. Available through qualified health professionals and community pharmacists, finished products are pure and hypoallergenic to optimize the long-term health of all patients, even the most sensitive. With Pure Encapsulations, you can rest assured that you're getting the purest and highest quality nutritional supplements available. Ask a qualified healthcare practitioner about Pure Encapsulations today and discover why it's the supplement brand of choice for healthcare professionals worldwide. For more information, please visit www.pureencapsulations.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. 
Tune in to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com and get ready to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Speaker, teacher, channel, clairvoyant, Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst who channels a powerful energy from source to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com for show dates and times and LeslieFontaine.com to say yes to explosive abundance. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Would you like to be a question with anything that comes up in your body or mind? Would you like to become totally aware and begin to function as the conscious being you truly are? Join Access Certified Facilitator Glenna Rice every month for a live teleclass where you can ask all of your questions and learn to create change in any aspect of your life. Visit GlennaRice.com today to learn more and don't miss the next call. Join the questionable conversation today at GlennaRice.com. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit JenRoyster.com for more information. Are you anxious and worried? Do you feel stuck with fear and insecurity? Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schau. My breakthrough and empowerment program has helped thousands to overcome their emotional challenges. Join me for the upcoming Breakthrough and Empowerment video seminar series, which starts on April 8th. Visit the fearandanxietysolution.com to find out how you can transform your life in just three months. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Steffen each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Encapsulations is committed to producing the most complete line of research-based nutritional supplements from fish oil to probiotics to multivitamins and more. Available through qualified health professionals and community pharmacists, finished products are pure and hypoallergenic to optimize the long-term health of all patients, even the most sensitive. With Pure Encapsulations, you can rest assured that you're getting the purest and highest quality nutritional supplements available. 
Ask a qualified healthcare practitioner about Pure Encapsulations today and discover why it's the supplement brand of choice for healthcare professionals worldwide. For more information, please visit www.pureencapsulations.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. A retreat to open your senses and heal your energy. Join Lynn Brown and Wendy Wolf for Amazing Astra Allies, April 30th through May 2nd in the beautiful Methow Valley. Open to more of your astral experiences. Learn intentional dreaming and receive astral body healings in this serene setting. This retreat is almost full. To register now or learn more, call 206-931-7356 today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425 425- Four five one zero four zero four. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. This Visit thetruthisfunny.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on the diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Pure Encapsulations is committed to producing the most complete line of research-based nutritional supplements from fish oil to probiotics to multivitamins and more. Available through qualified health professionals and community pharmacists, finished products are pure and hypoallergenic to optimize the long-term health of all patients, even the most sensitive. With Pure Encapsulations, you can rest assured that you're getting the purest and highest quality nutritional supplements available. Ask a qualified healthcare practitioner about Pure Encapsulations today and discover why it's the supplement brand of choice for healthcare professionals worldwide. For more information, please visit www.pureencapsulations.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. A retreat to open your senses and heal your energy. Join Lynn Brown and Wendy Wolf for Amazing Astra Allies, April 30th through May 2nd in the beautiful Methow Valley. Open to more of your astral experiences. Learn intentional dreaming and receive astral body healings in this serene setting. This retreat is almost full. To register now or learn more, call 206-931-7356 today. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit thetruthisfunny.com. 
Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on a diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. 